All right, guys, we made it out to the lake. A couple of people out there. Maybe see if I can't zoom in on them. It's not too many people, but just a couple. So we're gonna get set up here. It's really windy, so sorry if there's bad audio or anything. But I'll get set up and uh, we'll uh, get fishing here and hopefully get a couple of fish. Okay, hopefully you guys can see pretty good right now. The coat's kind of in the way. A little midday update for you. It's 12 o'clock, so no flags. Uh, we did catch a fish, just a crappie. Just a crappie, so don't worry, nothing too special. Haven't got any bites. I've moved around a couple times. We moved one of the tip-ups, but right now just gonna go around trying to break some ice and whatnot. So you guys and hopefully a bit with a fish or a flag up. Good, you? I'm so intrigued. I just gotta ask what you're using on your tip-ups. It's a big shiner. Oh my god. Yeah, we were just wondering, because we were using shiners too, we can't get a single thing. Yeah. I got two small fighters and like a small one and then I don't that was, but... Alright, well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Most of our tip-ups are like six feet. Yeah. Somewhere around there. I think that's like 14 feet. And that one close is nine feet. The rest of them are all like 12. Alright, thank you. All right, guys, so that guy that I talked to earlier about, what he was using for bait, I went ahead and I moved over into one of his holes because he just left. So I'll maybe see if I can't get a fish because he's he's catching northern left and right. So after he left, I went ahead and moved over to one of his holes. I got a tip up with me, and I got my jigging rod for northern. So I'll maybe see if I can't get myself a fish before I go ahead and have to leave. Set up on light setting here. Right there, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go find one of his holes that I can jig in. Then we'll be in business. For now at least. Sorry my sorry if my strings are kind of getting in the way here. But what the first hole that I went to was all covered with slush and everything, so gonna have to find a hole that's not covered with slush. There's one over here or something. Something like that. That's about I know. Right here. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in a bit, hopefully. Alright, guys, so I got myself another shiner. I'm gonna try to get it back in there as fast as possible to maybe see if um, uh, we can get lucky enough to get them again. I'm gonna get a little rundown of what we're using. We got, ooh, three shiners left. Give me a big one. Losing them. There we go. So, just a plain old shiner. Grab your hook. Hook it right to there. Not sure if you guys can see that. I just want to hook it a little bit better. Make sure there's not a scale on top of that hook. This guy's a lively guy. He'll get eight fast. Put him down. Let it sink to the depth that you have it set at. All right, and set it in the hole. Boom, like that. All right, maybe see if we can't catch another. All right, guys, something exciting happened. There's definitely a fish on this one. You see that spinning? Oh yeah, look at that. All right, let's take it, boys. Let's take it. So it's still spinning like crazy. It won't stop spinning, which is a good thing. There we go, all right, stopped. We'll go ahead and uh, take this guy. 
See if uh, maybe he's up to uh, give us a good fight. Oh yeah, he's on. Missed him. No. No. Minnow bucket. Minnow bucket. Oh, we missed him. Look how much line he pulled out. Do you guys see that? He pulled out so much line to, ah, oh, mad. He probably went around to eat it in its head and I didn't wait long enough. Rookie mistake, but I'll get it back out here. We might bring another chip up over here. I'm trying to get a couple more fish, but yeah, see you guys in a bit, hopefully with another flag. We are moving. Grandpa's moving the vehicle. We got four tip ups out. We have our original spot. So we're trying to see if we can't get a couple of last northern before we have to leave here. I can see you. All right, here. guys. Caught this little, oh, little bluegill. Very, very floppy. Right now, I'm just doing a little bit of jigging. I got a nice little bobber, two really small sinkers and a plain hook and wax worm. You don't need a jig head to fish with it. You just need a, you just need wax worm basically and a hook. But I'll, if I uh, keep on catching some more, I'll keep on recording for you guys. But we had one more false flag that's been about it. So I'll see you guys in a bit.